in the 2007 projectiles on an inclined plane question we have a plane inclined at an angle 45 to the horizontal and we have a particle projected up the plane with speed u and an angle theta to the horizontal so in here we have theta minus 45 so let me set up my initial vector it's going to be u cos theta minus 45 in the i direction plus u sine theta minus 45 in the j direction my accelerations minus g over root 2 for both because of the sine and cos of 45 being the same minus g over root 2 and we're asked where we're told the particle is moving horizontally when it strikes the plane so it's coming in like this so the tan of the angle of landing will be alternate to this 45 down here you can see this angle if it strikes the plane horizontally and the one in here the same so we can say the tan of b or whatever we want to call it is equal to 45 that will come in handy at the end so we need the time of flight here to find when it hits the plane we need the velocities we know that the tan of the landing angle we said it was b is equal to the velocity of y or minus the velocity of y over the velocity of x so let's get the time of flight s of y is equal to zero so I'm going to have u sine t to minus 45 ut plus a half a t squared so put your minus in a half a g over root 2 times t squared is equal to zero factor out your t to leave u sine t to minus 45 minus g t over 2 root 2 so we're going to get this initial t is zero and we're going to get 2 root 2 by u sine t to minus 45 that will be equal to g t so i'll leave the t there bring the g underneath that's the time of flight so now i can put this into my velocity of y and my velocity of x so we do the velocity of y u plus at so u sine t to minus 45 that's u plus a t so a is g over root 2 for both times t which is 2 root 2 u sine t to minus 45 over g so this is the velocity of y see here my g's will cancel my root 2's will cancel and we're left with u sine t to minus 45 minus 2 u sine t to minus 45 so we're just going to get minus u sine t to minus 45 for the velocity of y then the velocity of x is going to be this u cos t to minus 45 u cos t to minus 45 plus a t so the a and the t is going to get the same value as this guy up here it's not going to be any different so g over root 2 by 2 root 2 u sine t to minus 45 over g which is going to give u cos t to minus 45 tidy it up minus 2 u sine t to minus 45 so if we get the tan of the angle we said it was 45 so 1 so we want to write tan 45 is equal to 1 is equal to minus the velocity of y so we're going to just change the minus u sine t to the plus u sine t to minus 45 over the velocity of x u cos t to minus 45 minus 2u sine t to minus 45 so let's tidy this up we'll have to let these equal each other so we're going to get u cos t to minus 45 if they're equal to 1 the fraction is going to be equal that's going to be 
minus 2u sine equal u sine. So let's just simplify that in one step. That's going to be equal to 3u sine. We could have divided by u first. t to minus 45. So we can divide by u now. And then we can get sine over cos will be 1 over 3. So 1 over 3 is equal to tan of t to minus 45. What were they looking for in this question? To show that tan t is equal to 2. Okay. So tan of t to minus 45 is tan a minus b. So we have tan of 45 is equal to 1, so this will help us down here. So tan a minus b is equal to tan a minus tan b. I can never remember if it's a minus on top of the bottom, over 1 plus tan a tan b. So this will tidy up to tan a being the theta and tan b being the 45. We'd have tan theta minus 1. The tan of 45 being 1 over 1 plus 1 times the tan of theta. So 1 plus tan theta. Hopefully, if we let this equal a third, it will simplify into 2 tan theta is equal to something. 3 tan theta minus 3 is equal to 1 plus tan theta. You see here, we're going to get 2 tan theta is equal to 4. Sorry, 2 tan theta is equal to 4 tan theta is equal to 2 lo and behold is that what they wanted tan theta is equal to 2 tan theta is equal to 2 and that concludes the voting from the Irish jury